Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative, LTG GT. Please make Sunrise Daily TV your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our updates on all the social media platforms below on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beg with Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates. Please listen to this announcement. Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative LTD GTE presents Official opening of Sunrise Daily TV Head Office Time 2 p.m. Thursday 13 June 2024 Office begins operations immediately after opening Head Office at 112 MCC Road, Amawaya, Owere, Imo State Yes, yeah, this is an announcement from Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative LTD GTE if you want to place your advert, you want Sunrise Daily to cover your event, please do well to call or WhatsApp us with this phone number 081-267-41816, 081-267-41816. If you have any reports that you feel Sunrise Daily should make it public, please do well to message us on WhatsApp, contact us. And available admin will attend to you. Yes, information reaching us today says government key two policemen in Imo State. Unidentified government on Tuesday, June 11, shot and killed two policemen in Imo State. Sunrise Daily TV gathered that the gunmen ran into a team of policemen who were on duty at Akabo, Ikeduru local government area of the state and opened fire on them. A source in the community said the incident happened a few minutes past 6 a.m. He stated that a civilian was also shot in the process but didn't die immediately. The policemen were on checkpoint when the gunmen attacked them, two led dead. And another man was shot, was also shot. It happened a few minutes past 6 a.m., the source said. The state police public relations officer, Henry Okoye, was yet to respond to inquiry as at the time of filing this report. Yes, this is the news from Imo State. We move off, over to the next update. Namde Kanu heads to appeal court, moves to restore bail. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namde Kanu, has urged the appeal court to restore the bail granted to him by an Abuja Federal High Court. Kanu also faulted the ruling of the appellate court for refusing his transfer from the facility of the Department of State Services, DSS, to Kujie Prison. In 2017, the Federal High Court in Abuja granted Kanu bail on treasonable felony charges filed against him by the federal government. However, the court revoked Kanu's bail and issued a bench warrant for his arrest after he failed to present himself as required. In 2001, Kanu was rearrested in Kenya and ex extradited to Nigeria. In April 2022, Justice Bintan Yaku of the Federal High Court struck out eight of the 15 counts in the charge. The remaining seven counts were also quashed by the Court of Appeal on October 13, 2022, with the judge ordering Kano's release. However, on October 28, 2022, the Appeal Court in Abuja granted a stay of execution on his verdict discharging Kano after the federal government filed an appeal at the Supreme Court. On December 15, 2023, a five-member panel of the Supreme Court reversed the verdict 
of the appeal court and other Kano to resume his trial before the Federal High Court. On May 20, 2024, refusing Kano's application to restore his bail, in line with the Supreme Court ruling, Justice Nyaku entered an order modifying the conditions of cancer visitation to Kano. However, Kano's led cancer, Aloy Ejimako, faulted Justice Nyako's ruling on four grounds. Ejimako said the learned trial court erred when it misdirected itself on the facts and otherwise failed to properly evaluate the evidence when it wrongly held that on the issue of the transfer of the defendant slash appellant to another place of custody. I have found and held that the present place of custody of the defendant is a proper place of custody, and which decision led to miscarriage of justice against the appellant. And so on and so forth. This is uh, contained in Daily Post newspaper. Yes, guys, what do you have to say uh, concerning the move? by the leader of IPOB Namdi Kanu. Please drop your comment on the comment section. Ah, Jesus. Please bring water, please bring water. Anna, stop it now. Never and ever in my life will I believe that you are filming. I will continue to suspect you and torment you. Guy, you have to calm down. You have to calm down. Maybe, maybe you don't go kill yourself because of Fuma. What's your name? Hey! How dare you touch my queen's hand? Anna, what is it? What are you talking about? They stop checking up on me. They say, no, Mickey, you don't follow those your friends. They, 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 they stay together, they talk, they eat, they, they laugh. I have done everything in my power to get Mary back, but nothing is working in my favor. Please, maybe leave some time. <laughs> and I like my fellow genders. I like it when Jane smile at me. Why? I said go! Did I commit an Go offense? Go away! Aisha, Lily is not a man. Oh, Lily man. Is just, Come on. Just... Aisha! I won't do anything and I know that you cannot hurt the fly. <laughs> Sally, don't blame you too. Especially you. Dear, where are you? We just sent us. As you can see, I'm her new friend. Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative. LTG GT. Please make sure that you need to be your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our update on all the social media platforms below on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beg with Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates.